what was the intent uh, of this bill? Parents during the time of COVID, during the shutdown of schools and learning, when learning came home for our children, I'm a dad of four kids. I think a lot of us realized that there was not enough involvement from us as parents in the day-to-day -day of what our kids were learning, how they were learning it, et cetera. And so we started to hear from constituents and we started to hear from people around the state of Florida that there was this idea that the school district had some right of privacy with our children and to have closed door meetings with our children without us being involved. And it was shocking to parents. It was shocking to me when I heard some of the examples. And so what we did was we passed a bill that just reaffirms most of what so many of the folks supporting the bill today on your panel have said, which is that parents, as parents, we know our children better than anyone else. And so if a school district's going to do anything that pushes me out as a parent, during my time in the legislature, I will fight every day to make sure that parents are reinserted in the day-to-day -day learning of their children. Yeah, if you're unclear about my objections, it's not my feelings. It's that the school my son goes to, or will, will be going to, they're being told, don't even have a rainbow sticker in your classroom. We are removing books that include families that look like yours. We are putting warning stickers on content around race and sexual orientation. And it's not generically, it's only targeting LGBTQ youth. So the fact that you don't specifically say gay or homosexual or anything in the bill, the intent of it is crystal clear to anyone who listened to the debate. And to pretend that you don't understand that is just disingenuous. Well, if we took every person um, on, uh, that was an ally of Florida Equality against my bill and took their quotes, we had allies of Equality Florida in the legislature and in some committees saying parents needed to get out of the way and allow the school to do their job. Parents needed to stop supporting pesky bills like our bill that was empowering parents. So I, I don't think that's I wasn't something empowered we by do, that but bill. the other... I wasn't empowered by that bill. In fact, every hearing was a direct threat to me. That, and bill, my protected, child. that bill protected you, your child, from there Not being a, a conversation happening behind closed doors Not without your consent and knowledge. It absolutely did. Whether or not you respect the fact that, that it protects you is one thing, but what we're talking about we is the fact that again. no adult can go in and have a closed You talked about closed curriculum doors. Nadine, and instruction. I can't talk, you keep interrupting me. I'm trying to talk to you about the bill and the facts of the bill. I, I've read the bill, bill more often than you have. And what you're saying, how you're telling you me what my experience was. How many times was. I read the bill? I mean, this is just a perfect example yeah. of misinformation. One of the things that's most insulting to me as a parent is this idea that the fact that because I'm a parent and I want to be involved in every decision that happens, that's a critical decision that happens in my child's life, that somehow makes me anti-gay. That is just insulting to millions of parents all over our country. And I think that that tactic is just, it's so fearful. It's a fear, it's a fear mongering tactic. But it has really dangerous implications, I, I believe. Do you want LGBTQ children to be safe and feel safe in the schools and in their lives in Florida? Every child in the state of Florida, regardless of their color, their gender, their zip code, or anything else about them, should be safe in our school districts. All children matter, and all children shouldn't be bullied. And our parents have got to be included because no one knows the child life. Parents. It's interesting that he can't say that he wants LGBTQ kids to be safe in school. You have to like make it broader. Like why, why can't you just say LGBTQ kids should be safe at school? We will you, say, will you well, say that now? Will you say that now? You want LGBTQ kids to be safe in school? Mike? What you're continuing to do is spread fear and somehow so say that I'm no. anti-LGBTQ. Understood. All children, regardless Understood. of what LGBTQ their kid. gender is, what their sexuality is, matter and must be protected. The idea that you're trying to break down our children into little groups and say that certain kids matter more is dangerous, and we've got to call it but out. Here's the this part is of because no, there is, no, wait, th there is no group called LGBTQ. But listen, listen, no trans there kids, is. no queer kids. You're you have no a free so label. now we get the truth listen, that they don't My get. child exists. Being applied to my kids. child exists. Of and course. she did not learn well in kindergarten. The second we put her in a school that protected the teacher's right to read I Am Jazz, which took all of 30 seconds, her reading and math and everything improved. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.